Hi, I'm Martin, the food editor here at Fat Kid Inside Studios, and welcome to Mashups, where we take one of your favorite dishes or desserts and try to make them into crave-worthy dishes. Thank you, guys. Bonus, bonus. <laughs> Our dish for today is a bakery staple here in the Philippines and it's usually very rich, fluffy, sweet. It's called the ensaimada. There you go. But for me, uh, ensaimada is already perfect. So uh, we're gonna try to turn the ensaimada into something different while still keeping the most important parts of it. We're gonna be calling this one ensaimada monkey bread. Now, most uh, recipes for breads or even pastries requires a lot of ingredients. So that means you'll be using a lot of bowls, meaning you'll have to wash a lot of dishes. But this time, I'm gonna teach you guys how to prep everything without having to clean a lot of things. Right, so we're just gonna use three bowls for this one. The first step is to weigh all of our dry ingredients. It's okay to use full-on all-purpose flour or full-on bread flour, but the difference will be in the texture. We want that balance of uh, firmness and fluffiness. So we're gonna use 50-50 of this one. Paghalu-haluin natin para medyo malito ako. Ayan. If we do this, which one is all-purpose flour? You always look at the color, number one. If it's bleached white, that's usually all-purpose. All and the bread flour is, has a tinge of brown in it. Pero if you're like super sensitive, kaya nyong daanin sa texture, you can just grab a pinch of each. You'll start, you'll notice if you rub them together. Bread flour is kind of grittier. I'm not saying it has bigger granules or anything. Mas ano lang siya. It's rougher than all-purpose flour. Uh, ito, this recipe will use 300 grams. So I'm using just one bowl. And then the bread flour. Next is the yeast. I'll use 10 grams. And next, something that will contribute dun sa texture ng bread natin and dun sa lasa, sugar. It's white sugar. Ah, by the way, itong ginagawa ko, it's one bowl method. We're gonna be doing straight mixing method, which is just mixing the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients, then slowly adding the wet ingredients while you're mixing. dere dere so gluten development. Okay? So, let me just bring this back to zero. And measure out 180. Right, so yung dry ingredients natin magkakasama right now is the bread flour, all-purpose flour, yeast, and sugar. Ngayon, bakit hindi pwedeng magkasama si yeast at asin? Okay, so dalawa ang friends ni yeast when it comes to dry ingredients. Si sugar and salt. Sugar feeds your yeast. Yan yung pagkain niya para mabuhay at um, uh, magbigay, mag-release ng gas. Pero si salt naman, what it does is it inhibits. Or ibig sabihin, pipigilan niya yung pag-alsa. So now it's time to mix the wet ingredients. Gagamit tayo ng eggs para rich. Pero we're just gonna use the yolks. Gusto kasi natin mas rich siya, mag mas maganda yung color. Next up, we'll add the milk. So, gagawin natin, just mix this a bit. I'm gonna add 8 grams of salt. Ito naman, gagamit tayo ng 90 grams. Buo siya. For me, it's better if it's cold straight from the fridge. I'll explain why when I'm already mixing. Yeah, so we'll use 90 grams. Kinat ko siya into small sticks, pero it's still cold and solid. Hindi siya parang sobrang brick hard, because that would destroy your mixer. Ayo natin yun. O baka magalit kay sa akin. Just blame me. Now it's time for the mixer. Sorry. So here I have my best friend, the stand mixer, and his buddy, the dough hook attachment. Okay? So with the dough hook, parang ang magiging motion niya, mamasayihin niya, mamas masa, magmamasa ka ng tinapay. Hindi mo binibreak down yung dough mo, you're not breaking down your batter, you're not introducing any air to it. You're just developing the gluten, and that's what this is for. Give it a few seconds to make. Now I'm gonna slowly add my liquids. Uh, dissolved na yung sugar, ay yung salt pala. <laughs> Tapos ilalagay ko na yung butter ko slowly. And minsan kailangan nating hawakan yung mixer dahil naglalakad siya. Especially if you're using it for breads. Na-experience ko na yun sa bahay. 
Uh, I had the audacity to watch TV while making bread. Tapos narinig ko na lang, may bumagsak, may nakita na akong basag na tiles, and malaking dent sa kitchen. But lesson learned. Naglagay akong TV sa tabi ng mixer ko. Then joke lang. Kumakatok. Kaya lahat ng gamit sa ilalim nagsishake. See? That's what happens if I let it go. So dito, based on my location, just give it two hours, siguro nasa antipolo na yung mixer ko. Tipid sa commute. Isa din sa mga pinaka-obvious signs that your dough is almost developed is when it starts to release from your bowl. And so imagine, this is going to take me around 8 to 10 minutes of mixing. Kaya kapag i-manual ko to, baka abutin ako 20 minutes or more. Actually, kung napapansin nyo, may usok sa gilid ko. Kasi yung elbow ko nagda-dry. So, ang ginagano. <laughs> Para bukas yung pores. Ngayon, gusto natin, pag sinespread out ko yung dough ko, kaya kong bumuo ng around the size of 25 centavos. Ayan. May film siya. And when I tap it, kailangan... Oh my God, nabasag yung crate and barrel. Oh sh**. Anyway, kasalanan ko yun. Please don't dock my pay. Ay, naka. Ay, naka. Oh yeah, anyway, sobrang na-feel ko eh. Na-feel ko yung sakit. Potential sakit. Right, so this is our dough. Developed. You need a flat surface. This is not a flat surface. Yeah. Usually, dito yata yung pantad-tad ng lechon, but that's good enough. Okay? Right. So, before ko ilagay dyan yung dough, kailangan natin siyang i-brush ng onting fat para hindi dumikit. Ako, gagamitin ko yung butter since yung mga tira-tira naman. Pindot-pindotin natin onti. Then, kung may brush kayo, use a brush. This is very important kasi the more your dough sticks, the harder will it, it will be to work. Yeah. Yeah. Scoop it out. That's my dough. Sayang. Simutin natin yung pool. Before I actually let it ferment, bug ferment, gusto ko siya perfectly rounded. Hindi naman perfectly round. Gusto ko lang smooth siya. Medyo bolts. What I do, I turn it, fold it. See? Just fold it like that. Yeah, now we're gonna let it ferment. Again, I call this, this part the bug fermentation. Either cover this with a wet towel or cling wrap. Ayo natin siyang may expose. We don't want it exposed sa air because it will form a skin. It will be harder to scale, and the only way to get this kind of sticky surface again is to remix the whole dough. Ayan. Tuck in lang natin siyang onte. Yeah. Now, gonna let it rise for 30 minutes. Watch a show or not. Use your phone. Pero from time to time, come check on it. Kasi minsan, pag alsa, nakalabas na pala one part. Ayaw na, again, ayaw natin ng skin. Now it's time to scale it. Scale ko lang siya. Eh, scale ko lang ulit siya para magawa nating mini enzymatas later. Tapos rest tayo 15 minutes. Okay? Alright. Alright. I'm gonna cut out a bit after I finish that line. Bibilugin ko na muna siya then cover it. I do. Just cup your hand like this. Ganyan siya. Put place a dough here. Ito lang yung nakadikit sa akin. This until here. Si ikutin ko siya. Ah, we can see it. That that's mag kinda do this. Ginagano ko siya para lang mag seal yung ilalim ng onte. And you have like this cute ball. Last piece of bread. You don't have to do that yung ganong kaatehan. Yun, it's not necessary. Gino ka na siya para magin derecho. Tas mas madali siyang ikat. Tapos sa tayo, we have done all of our uh, dough balls. Uh, while we're waiting for this one to rest, pahinga lang natin ng onte. Para hindi lumaban yung dough. I'm gonna grease my pan. This is good enough for me. Now it's time to wait for this one to rest for 15 minutes. Then I'll show you how to make that signature enzymada swirl. Flatten it a bit. Yeah. 
it, diba? Kahit ganito kahaba is good enough. Yeah. Then, my technique para hindi mag-unfurl or mag-unravel yung dough natin. Yung pinakadulo, I'm just gonna press it down. Yan. Para maging manipis. Yan. If you do this, didikit yung dough. Magiging mas sticky siya. Parang masisil siya automatically. Now, I'm gonna get a tiny piece of butter. Around, ano lang to, teaspoon lang. Then, just really using my fingers, just rubbing it around. And rub, rub, rub. There you go. And then, dahan-dahan ko siyang i-roll into a cigar. And try to make it a bit tight. There. See? So, yun yung sinabi ko manipis. Nag-seal na. Then, gusto ko lang siya pantayin. I'm gonna roll it with my fingers. Pag nagro-roll ako, it's not together. It's not too wide. Pero, nakabukas lang siya. Take this tip. Gagawa tayo ng itsura parang windmill or spiral. Swirl, swirl. Yan. And then, itong end na to, I kinda pull a piece. This is my, ano, ginagawa ko lang siya on my own. If you know other techniques to do this, then feel free. Then just pinch it together. See? When I turn it, ito na yung spiral niya. Now, I'm gonna get my pan spiral side down. Itong may seal natin, pababa. So, this is our fully proofed, ready to bake ensaymada monkey bread. See? So, nag-double siya in volume talaga. Kanina parang halfway lang, halfway through lang yung level ng bread. Yan. This is... A bit alien, but it's it's big. It's gonna look good when we turn it over. So next up, we're just gonna brush it generously. Butter while it's still hot. So, lalagay ko lang muna to. Basically, it's just a combination of confectioner sugar or powdered sugar and some Parmesan cheese. This is not gonna be the most graceful flip. Ugh. Slide the knife here, because uh, what happened was the butter heated up slowly, and then it started to melt the sugar. Now we have this sticky syrup situation. I'm speechless. Okay, so another disclaimer, you don't really have to put this much butter in it, <laughs> but I want to do it. It's monstrosity. But you know, most food that looks like that, you know, you, you instantly know that it's super good. Choose a side, then you pull it. Here. See, it's still smoking. It's very good. It's super rich. It's very good. Uh, I think we got the fluffy part of the enzymata down. The sweetness, it's not as sweet as it looks, to be honest. But you can really feel the butter per bite. And I think, you know, I don't know, how about you guys? You think I did a great job? I feel like I'm, I did an okay job turning it into something else. So again, this is the original ensamada. And this is the monkey bread ensamada that we made. We didn't really change the ingredients. We just changed the format, turned it into something more fun and more intense. So this is it for our ensamada mashup. Turned it into monkey bread, still keeping the original formula and the original components of what makes an ensaymada so good. Thank you for watching. This has been Mashups. Again, I'm Martin, and I hope to see you guys next time.